Welcome to Vindas Concept. Expected 13 topics for chemistry wire questions 2024. Number one, electrolysis. Electrolysis under this subcontent, you need to know the definition of electrolysis. You need to also know the terminologies used in electrolysis. Then other content you need to know is the factors affecting the discharge of ions in electrolysis. Then another one is Faraday's law of electrolysis. You need to know the first and the second Faraday's law of electrolysis. Then another subcontent under electrolysis is the uses of electrolysis. Under the uses of electrolysis, take note on how metals are purified and also take note on how metals are electroplated. Second topic to be expecting is electrode potential. Electrode potential. In electrode potential, you need to know this definition of standard electrode potential. You also need to know the factors affecting the value of standard electrode potential. And also, you need also to know the uses of the value of standard electrode potential. The third expected topics in this year is electrochemical cells. Electrochemical cells. Under electrochemical cell, you need to know the definition of electrochemical cell. You need to know the types of electrochemical cell, which are primary cell and secondary cell. And to know the differences between these two cells. Another subcontent you need to know under the chemical cell is the is the differences between electrolytic cell and electrochemical cell. Also, before I forget, know how to draw an electrochemical cell. Very, very important. Then another subcontent under this is cathodic protection. Cathodic protection. You need to know how galvanized iron and tin plated material can be protected from corrosion then the fourth topic is oxidation and reduction oxidation and reduction now in this fourth topic all you need to know is the definition of oxidation and reduction in terms of electron transfer then you need to know the, how to calculate the oxidation number. Then thirdly, you need to know oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Oxidizing agents and reducing agent, that definition in terms of electron transfer is worthy to note. And also examples of oxidizing and reducing agents. Then let's go to the fifth expected topics in this CYEC, rates of chemical reactions. Rates of chemical reaction. Now, you need to know the definition of rates of chemical reaction and you need to know the factors that affect the rates of chemical reaction. Factors that affect the rates of chemical reaction. Then also, you need to know the rate curve. The rate curve. The rate curve is very important. Then third, uh, uh, another one is collision theory. You need to know about collision theory under this topic and how to use the collision theory to explain the factors that are affecting the rates of chemical reaction. Number six expected topics in this CYEC is chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium. Now, in under this topic, you need to know the, the properties of a system at equilibrium. The properties of the system at equilibrium. Then also Le Chatelain's principle. Le Chatelain's principle. Another one you need to know is how the factors affecting a system at equilibrium. The factors affecting a system at equilibrium. Then another thing you need to know is um, the energy profile diagram for endothermic and exothermic reaction. Energy profile diagram for exothermic and exothermic reaction. Then you need to also know activation energy and how catalysts can affect activation energy in exothermic and endothermic um, energy profile diagram. Then the seventh topic, which is very large, non-metals and their compounds. Non-metals and their compounds. You don't escape this topic 
in every year questions, every year chemistry wide questions. Now, under non metals, I'll break it down. A, you need to expect chlorine and its compound. Now, you need to know the chemistry of chlorine, which involves the lab preparation of chlorine, um, the physical properties of chlorine, the chemical properties of chlorine, and uses and tests for chlorine. Please get note on how the diagram, get note on the diagram of uh, for the lab preparation of fluorine. Very, very important. Then secondly, number B, other metals, non-metals and their compound is sulfur and its compound. Sulfur and its compound. Now, in this um, uh, subtopic, you need to note the extraction of sulfur by fresh process. Extraction of sulfur by fresh process. Then, you have the compounds of sulfur you need to know is sulfur, four oxide, SO2, the lab operation, the physical and chemical properties and uses of SO2. Note the diagram for the lab operation of sulfur, four oxide. Then another one is the tetrous of sulfur six acid. How to prepare it by contact process. Very, very important. Properties which involve physical and chemical properties and uses of Tetral of a six acid, that is H2SO4. Now, please, you need to note how to test for sulfate ion, SO4 2 minus ions. Then, another one you need to know under non metals and their compound is nitrogen and its compound. Nitrogen and its compound. Under that, you need to know the um, chemistry of ammonia, the harbor process of making ammonia physical and chemical properties of ammonia, uses of ammonia. Also, note the lab operation of ammonia and the diagram for the lab operation of ammonia. Then, on that same, that same nitrogen and its compound, you need to know about triosonated 5 acid, HNO3, triosonated 5 acid. Note the lab operation of triosonated 5 acid, both the diagram. Note how to prepare triosonated 5 acid industrially. Very, very important. They note the properties of triazine 95 acid, uses of triazine 95 acid, and how to test for nitrate ions, NO3 minus ions. Then another one to note under non metals and their compound is oxygen. Please note all the oxides under oxygen. We have basic oxides, acidic oxides, we have amphoteric oxide, and higher oxides. Now let's move quickly move to uh, expected uh, number eight, the expected topic to note is metals and their compounds. Metals and their compounds. They are very, very wide. It's a wide topic, but I will give you areas you need to read under this topic. A is extraction of aluminium from bauxite and note the chemistry of aluminium. Then B is extraction of tin from cassiterite or tin stone. Then note the chemistry of tin. Then also, um, the extraction of iron by blast furnace, by blast furnace, they note the chemistry of iron. Now, let me tell you important compounds of metals you need to note. Number one is sodium triazocarbonate 4. Sodium triazocarbonate 4, very, very important. You need to note it. You, uh, the preparation by survey process is important for you to note. And how my materials, raw materials needed for the manufacture of sodium triazocarbonate 4 by survey process. Note the chemistry of calcium trisocarbonate 4 or limestone. Note also the chemistry of calcium chloride. Note also the chemistry of calcium oxide. Note also the chemistry of sodium hydroxide. Now let's move to um, the number nine topic. Water, solution, and solubility. Water, solution, and solubility. Now, under water, Please note hard water, hardness in water, or water hardness. Note the causes of water hardness. First of all, note after hard water, you note the types of hard water, the causes of each type of hard water, then the removal of hardness in water. Then also note how water can be treated. That is treatment of water and the various stages and the uh, method in treating water. Then solution. Other solution, 
no difference between true solution and false or colloidal solution. Now, note examples of colloidal solution. Also, under solution, note the meaning of saturated solution, note the meaning of unsaturated solution, and super saturated solution. Then, under solubility, note the meaning of solubility, note the uh, formula for calculating solubility and how to calculate it. Note also under solubility factors that will affect how solids dissolve in liquids under solubility. Solubility calculation is very necessary. Then number 10 is mass volume relationship. Please, under this topic, it's all about calculation. Note mass to mass calculation, mass to mole calcul calculation, mole to mole calculation. Also note uh, mass to volume calculation or mole to volume calculation. Then under this topic, note about the meaning of mole and also how to use the various formulae for mole to calculate uh, different problems under mole. Very, very important. Then number 11 topic is gas laws. Yes, gas laws. Note Boyce's laws, formula for calculating Boyce's laws and how to calculate problem under Boyce's laws. No Charles law, formula for Charles law and how to calculate problem under Charles law. Note general gas equation and its formula and how to calculate it. Note Darwin's law of partial pressure. Note also Graham's law of diffusion. Note Avogadro's law. Note um, ID gas equation. Note um, all the laws under this. Before I forget, don't read gas laws without reading the postulates of kinetic theory of gases. Very, very important. When you read the postulates of kinetic theory of gases, now, note those postulates that real gases do not obey. All right. So let's move to number 12 topic, periodic table. Periodic table. Now, under periodic table, note about, read about periodic, modern periodic law. Then read about periodicity or periodic properties of element. Note, uh, read about properties of uh, element that shows periodicity. Now, under periodic table, also read about uh, Mendeleev postulates of, of um, um, postulates of Mendeleev periodic table. All right, you get it under the brief history of the periodic table by Mendeleev, the founder of periodic table, who classified sorry, who classified elements into periodic table. Now, under the periodic table, read about families of elements, read about um, classification of element into blocks such as S block. P block, G blocks, and F blocks. Then under that uh, periodic table, read about electronic configuration or electron configuration. Read about the rules that govern the distribution of electrons into sh main shells or self shells. Okay, very important. We have Hubbard rule. We have um, um, a Hun's rule. We have um, um, Hubbard rule, Hun's rule, and Polar exclusion principle. Then the last topic, but not the least, is hydrocarbons and organic chemistry. Hydrocarbons and organic chemistry. You will never escape hydrocarbon and organic chemistry in every way um, chemistry questions. Now, under hydrocarbons, note the meaning of hydrocarbons and the sources of hydrocarbons. Then note under this topic, petroleum petroleum and fractions of petroleum and their uses then also note terminologies used in organic chemistry terminologies used in organic chemistry then also note about cracking and reforming cracking and reforming very very important note about octane number octane number then note how to name organic compounds that nomenclature of organic compound very very important they will give you uh, compounds to name both in the essay both in the objectives then note the following organic compounds their chemistry when i say they are chemistry i mean their lab preparation i mean their properties both physical and chemical properties i mean their uses and their tests in the lab now note the chemistry of methane that is number one note the chemistry of ethene ene -E, and note the chemistry of ethane all right note the chemistry of benzene benzene and compounds derived from benzene 
Also note the chemistry of arcanos. Arcanos, very, very important. Arcanol is a very important raw material in the, in the industry because of its wide uses. Now, note also arcanoic acids, the chemistry of arcanoic acids. Note also arcanoate or esters. Note also, um, okay, yes, I think uh, I am done there. But this a, a, um, organic chemistry has what we call macromolecules. Please note about macromolecules, all right? Soap and detergents. Don't forget soap and detergent and also polymers. Very, very important. Now, when you go through all these expected topics, which are 13 for chemistry wire questions 2024, I believe you will not come out with anything less than A. Thank you and remain blessed.